Hello and welcome to Start Learning Logic. And as always, many thanks to all the nice people that support this channel on Steady or PayPal. This is part one where I want to show you the basic stuff you need to know about logic to understand mathematics. Therefore, we don't need to go into the details of the wide field of logic and formal logic. For us, it would be sufficient to understand logical statements and logical operations. Since a lot of people can correctly deal with the everyday logic on an intuitive level, this is often skipped when you start with mathematics. However, I think it's important to see that we have the logic as the foundation because we need to define everything in an unambiguous way in mathematics. Hence for us, our starting point would be logical statements, also called propositions. Now, such a proposition is just a statement, which means a meaningful declarative sentence that has a well-defined truth value. So it can be either a true or a false statement. Therefore, when you take examples outside the mathematical world, you have to be careful what really satisfies this condition here. So you can't take any opinions or questions, because a question does not have a well-defined truth value. Okay, then let's look at some examples where you should always keep in mind that we first have to agree on some definitions such that the examples make sense. So here, Mars is a planet is a logical statement when we know what object we call Mars and what a planet is by definition. Then this logical statement is indeed true. In this way, we can also formulate the sentence Pluto is a planet, which is by the same agreement also a logical statement. However, this one now has the truth value false. So you see, such real world examples can really help to understand the concepts, but of course they can lead to some discussions. Therefore, I prefer examples in mathematics because there all definitions are given. For example, we could choose the sentence 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Of course, here you also have to know what the numbers mean, what the plus sign means and what the equality sign means. But if you know these things, you know this is a true logical statement. Of course, such logical statements coming from mathematics can also be formulated with English words. For example, we could say the number 5 is smaller than the number 2. So here we need only knowledge of the natural numbers and how they are ordered. Then you can say, yes, this is also a logical statement, but it is false. Okay, then let's go to a counter example. What about good morning? Of course, this seems very nice, but we can't associate a well-defined truth value to it. It simply does not make sense to say that this one here is true or that it is false. So it's clearly not a logical statement. Another example now in the mathematical world would be to say I have a variable x plus 1 and this is equal to 1. So this might be a tricky one because it's not a logical statement despite looking like one. The reason for this is that the variable x here is not fixed, so we can't give the statement a well-defined truth value because it would depend what x really is. This means that in the moment that x gets a value, this statement becomes a logical statement. Of course, such constructions are all over mathematics, therefore they will be important later and we call such a thing a predicate. Now the next step is when we have such logical statements, we also want to combine them. They are just called logical operations and they give us new logical statements. For example, the negation is defined for a given logical statement A, which could be for example 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Then the new logical statement, the negation of A, is denoted by this line in front of A. You should read it as not A and it simply switches the truth value. Therefore, the best thing to define such a logic operation is to use a so-called truth table, where we put in all possible inputs and the corresponding outcomes. Of course, here we only have two inputs, A could be either true or false. So the truth value should be switched, so not A should be false when A is true and the other way around. Okay, also here let's look at some examples to get an idea what we are talking about. So let's take the logical statement A given by the English sentence the wine bottle is full. Then the negation of A is simply given by putting in the word not into the sentence. Of course, here we assume that you know which wine bottle we talk about and what full means. But then you see negation is very easy, just putting in not at the correct position. 
An important thing to note here is that this is not the same as saying the wine bottle is empty. In other words, negation does not mean the complete opposite, it just means switching the truth values. As another example, let's consider the logical statement a as 2 plus 2 is equal to 5. Then not a is of course 2 plus 2 is not equal to 5. Now what you might think is we just have to look at the second line here because we already know a is false, so not a should be just a true statement. However, that's not what the negation does. It considers both cases at the same time. This means that if we live in a strange world where this logical statement is true, then the negation here should also be false. Therefore, please always consider these two possible worlds, which means these two lines here. Then if you get the correct truth table, you found the correct negation. Besides the negation, we have another fundamental logical operation, which is called the conjunction. It combines two logical statements, let's call them A and B. And then the conjunction is defined by this wedge symbol in between. You should read it as A and B because it's the AND operation, which means this one is only true if A and B are true simultaneously. With this information, you are already able to write down the whole truth table, which we would see as the correct definition. Now instead of two rows, we have four rows because we have four possible combinations of the truth values of A and B. Now from bottom to top, you know this one is false because we have at least one false here, the same here and the same here. Everything is false except the first row. This one is true because both are true. A good visualization for the AND operation would be to consider a circuit with a lamp and a battery. Now what we can do is to put A and B as switches into the circuit. In this picture, false should mean off and true should mean on. And the lamp we see as our output. So here you see, we need both switches to be on to get an on output. So true, true means true, otherwise we are false. Okay, in the next video I show you other logical operations that are also very important in mathematics. So I hope I see you there and have a nice day. Bye.